There's a hidden thing that controls everything you do every day of your life, but you probably never even thought about it until now. It's a hidden link between the most popular sports in the world, the social media platforms that command attention, and cleaning. If you can harness this thing's power, you can even be happier. This thing is satisfaction. Boom, there's your first dose of it. In this exactly four minute video, I'm gonna try to satisfy your desire to know what satisfaction does and how to use it. So what do you do on a normal day? I'd imagine you might eat. Why do you do that? Because it satisfies you and it does it quickly. Meanwhile, things that take longer to satisfy you like going for a run are way harder to do. That's the first learning of this exploration. Satisfaction is completion. But let me unsatisfy this video once again. Why are some things more satisfying than others? I'll say there's three main types of satisfaction seen through three examples. First, there's other people satisfying you. Basketball, football, soccer, baseball, ultimate frisbee. These are all satisfying sports to watch. Even if you know nothing about the game, they'll catch your attention for at least a little bit if you start watching, just because you can tell that what they're doing isn't easy, but they're doing it well. They are completing, but you don't know how they feel, so that's why it's only so satisfying. In type 2, you do. Take a TikTok video for example. Watching a video of someone completing their goals makes them happy, but also you. Good news everyone, I completed my goal! Yeah! <laughs> you can tell by their satisfaction yes! that they've put a lot into it, and seeing that work makes you appreciate it, but nothing compares to what you do yourself. Have you ever planned to clean for just a few minutes and tidy up, then you end up spending the rest of the day organizing your entire room and sometimes creating an entirely new layout? Well, I have. Completing things ourselves is one of the most satisfying things you can do because you know what went into it and all of its sensory benefits came directly to you as well. This is why cleaning can be one of the most addicting things to do. It's a bunch of sensory feedback that you can immediately measure and appreciate. It's so good that some studies say those with cleaner houses are often happier than their untidy counterparts. But satisfaction can also be used against you. It's in every social media app I've ever used. There's metrics everywhere to show your personal success and that of others. You get a ding when there's a notification and a heart lights up when you interact with the post. TikTok is one of the leading apps today because it's so easy to start and complete a video. They're automatically given to you, they're short, and by the end of them, you'll feel like you've learned something new. This can be good for a little bit, but over time, this fabricated satisfaction captures your time, making you feel like you're making progress until you break the trance and realize you spent eight hours doing nothing. But you can use satisfaction for yourself too. You probably won't ever be fully satisfied, and that's not a bad thing as it allows for growth. But to stay satisfied throughout the process, there's three main ways I think are good ways to use satisfaction to your advantage. All you have to do is copy TikTok, but for your own benefit. Step one, eliminate choice. TikTok thrives because it has so few features. Most people spend their time on one page, the For You page, where they take in an infinite stream of one video at a time. By contrast, in life we have an infinite number of different streams we can watch, but we have to pick which one. So just eliminate some. You can say during work you can't use your phone at all. It's not even an option. When you're trying to relax, don't even have your computer nearby. Make the choice easy and you won't feel like you're missing out. Step two, complete things often. TikTok's videos are short, usually under a minute. This makes it easy to finish a video and have a little sense of accomplishment for finishing something you started. Then you start the next one. Do this in real life too. Set realistic goals that have short time frames to keep you motivated throughout the day. As you check them off, you get a boost of energy from the satisfaction of completing something. This idea is why making your bed in the morning can help you start your day. You're already winning. Step three, learn more. I'll give the example of a trend on TikTok. All of the videos have the same style and setup. The first one you see you might not like, but as the familiar song rings over and over, it'll grow on you. The same thing goes for life. As we know more about what we're doing, the process becomes more satisfying and we can take more satisfaction from it. So celebrate the little things and realize how layered our world really is. That's what I'm doing with this channel. I'm trying out these techniques and learning right along with you, so keep me updated if you learn any new ways to live a better life. Finally, I'll ask you to do one more thing that will hopefully leave us both satisfied. Subscribe. Stay satisfied, my friends. Come back next week for a really exciting video.